Hey guys, we're back with my uh, Street Fighter Basic series, and I touched a little bit on this in uh, the last episode of Movement, but what I'm going to talk about now are normals for characters. So basically the normal attacks that characters have. Uh, every character has six basic normals, so you have a jab, you have a light kick, you have a medium kick, a uh, medium punch, heavy punch, and, and a heavy kick. Or jab, strong, fierce, short, forward, roundhouse. Just things that might be referred to as uh, in other guys or by me in the, the future of this tutorial. Now, there are pros and cons to each kind of attack. So with your your jabs and your your shorts, they're really fast. You can beat out a lot of moves with them. That being said, they are typically low damage, and um, well, they're easy to combo. But you're, you're so they're, they're fast. They're easy to combo, but you're not getting any damage off of this. You're not gonna you're not gonna gain a lot. By, by, by playing this way. You can, it just it makes your life really hard. So the idea is to mix your moves with other kinds of attacks. The next kinds of attacks that you have available to you are um, the mediums, your strong and your forward. These are going to be, I would say, your main attack ones along with the jabs. Jabs and, and mediums are going to be what you're going to want to string together. Mediums, you'll see, do a, a fair amount of damage, so whereas a jab did 38 points of damage, a medium does 88 points of damage. Other benefits to the medium attacks is that most of them are cancelable, cancelable into super moves. So for example, or not super moves, uh, special moves. Well, super moves too, but that's, that's another story. So for example, I can do a medium punch into uh, Ryu's Hadouken, like that. And that's called a chain. Well, it's actually canceling. But um, basically what's happening is I'm canceling the animation of the medium attack into a special move. I'm not really going to touch on that now because that's really that's, that's a bit more advanced. But that's just some of the benefits of the medium attacks. Uh, the downsides of a medium attack is that they are slower and they are harder to combo. You can combo them, but they are harder to combo than just if you were just to go two jabs like that. Like, I can, I can do two medium punches like that, but a newer player might find that hard to do. Um, medium kicks typically won't combo twice. You have to go, like, a medium kick to a light punch. But even then, I don't think you can. Um, in the air... Oh, I'll, I'll talk, before I go into the air, I'll talk about the, the Fierce and the Roundhouse, too. Fierce and Roundhouse um, buttons are typically going to be your your punishing buttons, is what I, I the way I like to think of them. So, so I can do something like that or like that. Both of which, all three of which actually. So we use Roundhouse, his um, his fierce punch from distance and his fierce punch from close. All work as solid anti-airs. So if a character or an opponent is jumping in on you, if you hit a fierce button, you're probably going to be okay, uh, no matter what because you'll be able to, to hit it pretty easily. Um, roundhouses do far and away the most damage. Uh, roundhouses and fierce punches. So if you look at... Um, Ryu's close uh, medium did 88 points of damage like we saw before. Um, his close fierce punch does 125 points of damage. And the close roundhouse does 120. But the benefit of that one is that it hits twice which is uh, useful for something I will bring up in uh, a future episode. 138 points of damage on the far right house. And that's clean, that's, you can do that every time, and it's it's, a, it's just solid damage, and uh, from maximum range, it's not really um, it's not really punishable. Now, if this was blocked at close range, I could absolutely be punished for it, which is the, the downside of your of your fierce attacks is that they are slow and they're also quite punishable. Um, 
So now looking at those attacks, they're they can all they all have some variants as well. So for example, if I'm doing a light attack um, in the air, light attacks are really helpful. Um, what they're most useful for is air-to-air -air interruption. So say if a character is jumping at you and he's doing like a, a jumping roundhouse kick, which is a high damage move, if I jump up and I do a light punch or if I do a light kick, I will almost certainly interrupt that move and basically nullify his attack. It's not a lot of damage, but it is a safe way to do things. Jumping medium attacks, they are your kind of like your 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 jack of all trades jump in attack um, and you will if you are going to jump in attack that's the one you're probably going to want to do most of all um, because uh, you'll still beat out a roundhouse and you do decent damage that being said you will still be beaten in the air by a jumping light or a jumping um, any jumping light really um, roundhouses jumping in they do a lot of damage but they are easily interruptible and um, easy to see coming, to say the least. Usually when you want, with a jump and attack, you kind of want to delay it as long as possible and hit it low. That way you're not kind of hanging out there forever. Uh, another unique property with Roundhouse, uh, Roundhouse Kick specifically is that when you crouch, you'll do a, a sweep. And that the sweep um, gets you what's called an unteckable knockdown, meaning when you sweep, the character can't quick rise. So if I let me just set him to quick get up. Alright, it is on. So say if I just knock down Ken here with like a standard sure you can. As soon as he landed, he was able to get up. Like that, you see? And that puts makes him safe for things like a counterattack or whatnot. When you sweep, while it is a slower attack, he is not able to quick rise after that. The benefit is, is that after that I can do things to, to basically make him guess. The One of the things that's really important in Street Fighter is making your opponent guess what you're going to do next. And ideally you want to make him guess wrong. So, when you approach Roundhouse, just to recap, you get, you get the sweep attack. Now, there are some character-specific unique attacks that you can get when you hit, when you combine a normal move with a direction. So, a normal move, a normal medium punch, is just, just that there. When I combine it with forward, now if you look, you look at the, the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see that I am holding, I'm going to hit forward and medium punch at the same time, I get a different move. Ryu has two of these. He has this one, which is an overhead punch, and I'll, I'll get into that, into that in a second. And he has this one, which is another two-hitting strong punch. Now, an overhead is useful when you have an opponent that is um, crouch blocking a lot. Crouch blocking is something you're going to want to do a lot of, because when you're like that, um, you'll block low and medium attacks, and high attacks will go over your head. So it's one of the safest way to blocks. That being said, it does have a glaring flaw that overhead attacks will open you up and leave you really vulnerable. So, let's see if I can send him to do it. Um, I don't think I can send him to do it, but actually here, I'll, I'll record him. That'll, that'll be the way to do it. So right now with Ken, I'm holding down back to do a crouching block. So I'm just going to play back now. Now watch what happens. So normally, that's not going to work on him. He's going he's gonna to block all of those. He didn't block there because I think his, uh, his recording reset. That being said, so like these moves aren't gonna hit, but if I do my overhead, it's then hit, and I can do, I can do other things after that. Not really after after that one, 
but other characters will be able to do stuff after their overhead. It's pretty much just a, a way to open up people. And then when you jump in with an attack too, that's also going to be going to be considered an overhead deck that can't be blocked. So let's put him back to normal. So, I don't think there's anything else about about normal attacks that's worth knowing. Um, really, I think that's it about normal attacks. Some normal attacks will take on a different property depending on how far away you are from the your opponent. So with Ryu, say I'm staying close. That's a maximum range medium punch. By staying close, it turns into a different attack altogether. It's still the same damage. Oh, it's actually a slightly different damage value. It goes less damage, but it's it's a faster move. I think. And the same with jab. So the maximum distance jab is like that. And then a close distance jab. It's the same thing, just slightly different. And the same thing applies to um, the other buttons too. Good for you. So standard light kick, low light kick gets low. And then uh, standard medium kick gets up mid middle. Yeah, the, the range is really strict on that to get that. And then if you're close, you do uh, a knee that also hit middle. Same damage values again. And then the roundhouse one, like we saw earlier, does a lot of damage at maximum range, and then up close, it'll do a two hit there. All right, and that's about that's about it for. Oh, and Ryu's close. Um, this is Ryu specific. Ryu's close uh, fierce punch is an anti-air with the uppercut there. Um, and that's pretty much gonna do it for normal attacks. Um, when we come back, I'll talk about throws and focus attacks. Alright guys, take it easy.